Hey guys, this is Austin. The Microsoft Surface line has been growing a lot lately, with everything from a desktop all-in-one with the Surface Studio, all the way down to the cheap and tiny Surface Go. There's a lot to like, but one of my favorite devices has always been the Surface Laptop. So when Microsoft sent over their brand new Surface Laptop 2 to take a look at, I got very excited until I took a little bit of a closer look. The overall hardware hasn't changed too much this year, which is certainly not a bad thing. It's all made out of aluminum, and it does sort of give a little bit of a MacBook vibe, at least until you open up the lid. The keyboard and deck lid are lined in Alcantara. Now this is pretty unique in the PC space. As opposed to seeing aluminum here, it is much more of a fabric material, and it kind of gives you a little bit of a unique look. It's typically found in things like high-end BMWs and Porsches and Audis, but having it here on a laptop is nice. Now sure, it will wear and get a little bit dirty over time, but as far as I'm concerned, that's totally worth the trade-off of a nice, soft typing experience. You're also getting a terrific display. So just like last year, it's a little bit of a weird panel with a 13.5 inch size and a 2256 by 1504? Yes, I got the resolution right. It's really unusual, but one of the nice things they have here is that it not only is a touch screen, of course, like a Surface should be, but importantly, the screen doesn't really wobble when you touch it. I mean, it wobbles a little bit, but it's much better than most other Ultrabooks out there. The actual panel itself is high quality, but what I really appreciate is the aspect ratio. Unlike most laptops, which are 16 by nine, this is three by two, which means that you get a lot more vertical screen real estate, which is helpful for things like web browsing and, you know, productivity. Everyone loves productivity in their really expensive laptop, right? Something else you can do, of course, though, is watch video. And even though you do get a little bit of a letterbox, you have a super crispy video like Jake's new Can You Survive the Movies over on Vsauce 3. You'll find that there's a, a lot of crispiness to watch. That aspect ratio also pays off for the keyboard and trackpad. So specifically, the keyboard is terrific. It's backlit, it's got a really nice sort of feel. And on top of that, the trackpad is actually fairly large. Most of that is because the screen is taller, which means that there's just a little bit more space here. One of the big new features this year is not a feature at all. It's the brand new matte black color. Can I just stop for a second and say that yes, I love a good silver laptop. It's classic, it's great, but this, matte black? I mean, I can feel Marquez's heart just fluttering. It's so, so cool. I mean, I didn't expect out of all people, Microsoft to make a murdered out Surface Book. It is so, so cool. Or Surface Laptop, whatever it's called. You know what isn't new this year? The ports, which if you take a look, consists of a single USB-A, a single mini display port, a headphone jack, and the magnetic service connector. You know what we don't see? A USB-C or, oh, I don't know, a Thunderbolt 3 port? Can you feel my frustration? I kind of get that last year the Surface Laptop 2 did, or the Surface Laptop 1 didn't have a Thunderbolt port, or at least didn't have a USB-C. But I mean, you see what this is? This is a $400 Surface Go. Guess what that port is? Do you see that little round, not round, the, the little circular, what, 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 what shape oblong. is that? Oblong, thank you. Do you see that little oblong port? That's USB-C. It supports power, it supports data, and oh look, it supports full display port, just like this useless mini display port here. So even the USB port, apparently, is USB 3 and that USB 3.1. I'll give them a little bit of credit because there is the service connector which can give you some of the functionality of USB-C, but I mean, it's 2018, it's going to be 2019 soon. This laptop is going to be around for a while and USB-C is absolutely the future. It just, it's crazy to me that they didn't just include USB-C here. I mean, it's on the $400 Surface. Why can't they put it on the $1,300 Surface Laptop 2? One of the major upgrades for the Surface Laptop 2 this year are in specs. So last year it was good, but it only had the seventh gen dual core processors. This year, however, we have the full quad core Core i5 and Core i7 options. Now, no, you won't be able to game particularly well on the Surface Laptop 2, mostly because it doesn't have any kind of dedicated graphics as an option, and you can't connect any external graphics, but having the quad core design does make a big difference for things like being able to do a little bit more video editing, and you do have all the Surface accessories, including the pen as well as the dial, so this will actually be a pretty solid Photoshop machine. Software-wise, this year it ships with Windows 10 Home out of the box, which would sound totally normal and not exciting at all, until you remember that the last year's version of the Surface Laptop shipped with Windows 10 which thankfully has kind of been pushed along to the wayside. You've got a very nice clean build of Windows, and of course you can install all the apps you might want. There are some nice features, including Windows Precision drivers for the touchpad, as well as an IR camera that does support Windows Hello. Speaking of that camera, it is a 720p webcam. It sounds pretty decent, but most importantly, it actually is a pretty high quality device. Unlike some other laptops that have webcams on the bottom of the display, where this is the angle you get 
all the time. Battery life is solid. Now Microsoft claims 14 and a half hours on a charge, which is definitely a little bit ambitious, but you should easily be able to last through a normal day of light use, for example, at work or school, something that's not going to be taxing it all that heavily. The Surface Laptop 2 is expensive. It starts at $1,000, but that's only for 128 gigs of storage. If you want to bump up to a 256 gig SSD, that's gonna cost you 300 more dollars. The drive is decently fast, but it's nowhere near as fast as the custom SSD inside the MacBook Pro, which is actually a less expensive upgrade. Apple charges you $200 on the MacBook Pro, whereas they charge you $300 on the Surface. So you know, when you're charging more than Apple for an upgrade, you might want to reevaluate your decisions. I really want to like the Surface Laptop too. It's got killer hardware. I love the black look. I really appreciate that it's much more powerful now. But the issue is that it doesn't even have USB-C, much less Thunderbolt 3. Especially considering this kind of price, the Surface Laptop 2 is a good laptop, but it is not a great one. 